let's make the assembly of wobbler steam engine we did all the parts now start to assemble now you will see this assembly one to eight part and you will see in column all parts are in one quantity and material also shown and the unit shown here in inches so let's start to create this assembly now go to file and open new and here choose assembly say ok once you open it will automatically start begin assembly and uh, this window pop up open so first part by default fix so I am going to choose column open now before going to place somewhere I am going to open this visibility on off and here choose open view origin and if I move my cursor or origin it is going to fix see click on this origin and the part is fixed it will show you some warning but let's forget now you can't move this component right click float it means this is fixed by default this is fixed now I don't need this you so you can off turn off view origin now insert before going to insert let me change unit IPS insert component now the second component bearing open now place somewhere here and drop down and choose rotate component and rotate this head here because this head I want to be here say ok now activate mat here selected we are in standard mat operation mat selection let me choose this whole whole of the column and this face and it will show you a relation concentric relation between these two say ok now I am going to select this face and select this face and here again a relation created coincident relation between these two ok now I, I want to fix this because this is rotating so I want to do one more relation front plane of column and front plane of bearing if I select this see it will rotate look how it is rotate and this is in one plane coincident relation say ok cancel now let me save this as a Wobbler steam engine assembly save now let's correct this insert component now next component let me select cylinder open now move somewhere here and place activate mat and let's create a relation between cylinder and column so I am going to select this internal surface of this hole and outer surface of this and make relation co-centric relation ok now see this is going to rotate along with this now I am going to select this face and this face coincident relation fine ok now I will keep this one as it is and I am going to bring some other part insert component this time let me hold control key and select these two parts piston and crankshaft now place piston here and the crankshaft here met now let me lo little rotate ok now select internal face of this piston cylinder and piston co-centric relation ok now let me fix select this rod and this whole face now I want this web this side so here you have option flip mat alignment even this option you will also hear mat alignment rotate see ok now bring this here now important relation select this face and bearing face and a coincident relation going to be create between these two ok let me rotate 
okay let's select the whole of this piston and this face co-centric relation okay now let me rotate this component and uh, we will get idea how it going to work see okay let's insert the next component flywheel okay let me insert here R rotate component okay met now i am going to select this internal hole and crankshaft rod co-centric relation okay now the face of bearing and the face of flywheel coincident relation fine now here i am going to create a relation between crankshaft and flywheel so let's activate crankshaft right plane of crankshaft come down choose from here flywheel right plane of flywheel look how it is change coincident relation say okay cancel now if i am going to rotate this see the flywheel also going to rotate okay let's insert last two components washer control key nut open place somewhere here rotate component take it in vertical position okay mat let me select the whole of nut and face of cylinder rod co-centric relation okay now rotate this little inside and let me choose these two face and here you will see distance apply distance you will see here 0 0.02 inch enter and you will see rotate and see the preview okay that's it now i want to fix with uh, okay let me select this hole and this one co-centric relation coincident relation actually take back select this face and this face okay see now you will see this is steam exhaust inlet exhaust port clear now i want to fix this so uh, I, I want to fix with this uh, column so if i am going to select right play front plane of column come down nut right plane of nut you will see it is rotate and it's going to fix in one plane say okay coincident relation now look now let me save this rebuild and save right click on command manager and go to toolbar and here activate motion manager now activate motion study now here i want to give some little mo motion so i'll go for animation open frame unit animation frame unit 60 frame will give more smooth but it will utilize your system very powerfully uh, it will take too much course so t just check uh, is it capable your computer or not say okay and i'm going to directly apply motor and i'm going to apply motor on this face motor type rotary component directly we selected here reverse direction see and here let's say 30 frame per rpm okay now just calculate now see this is calculating 
Once calculation finish, now you can play. Drop down. See, even if you want to go back, play, look, reverse and forward, stop. And let me save this animation. Here, give the name video type mp4 okay keep this render now image size or video aspect ratio you can you change custom aspect ratio from here 16 by 9 you will see the window preview window and here frame this is important either 50 or 60 for smooth animation i'm going to keep 50 60 save now once you save it will recalculate from a start and it will save in your destination so don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks i hope you learned basic features of solid solidworks assembly thanks for watching